Okay, this is part two. I'm opening up Adobe Animate and I'm going to pull in my stills. So if you've already created still images from your movies, you're ready to go. So I've opened up Adobe Animate. I'm going to open an Action Script 3 canvas. You can also do this in HTML5. It's pretty similar in the, the coding, um, but it's a little slower to uh, preview things. So I want to immediately make new symbols that have my hand motion video clips on them. So I, I don't want to put anything on my stage here right now. I'm, I'm not doing anything there yet. I want to make my movies into symbols. So I'm going to insert a new symbol right away, even though there's nothing going on yet. I'm just going to make a new blank symbol and I'm going to call it closed for my closed hand movie. And it's going to be a movie clip. So we're going to make a closed, uh, it's going to call it closed, it's going to be a movie clip, new symbol. Okay, so here's the symbol stage right here. So we're not on the main stage, we're just inside the symbol now, it's got its own timeline. So now I'm going to go import to stage, which is the symbol stage, and look for my closed, um, here's closed, here are my closed stills that I made when I cut up my video in the last um, segment. So I'm going to pick the first one, close00.jpg, hit open, and it's going to recognize that it's part of a sequence because it sees the numbers that are coming after it, close001, close002, on and on. And so it says, do you want it, do you want it imported the sequence? Yes, absolutely. It does this and it very nicely puts all the video, uh, video stills in order on keyframes all for you ready to go so that you can, here I'll shrink this a little bit, so that you can see that there it is. That's the little bit of closed hand I've got going on. I'm just scrubbing this back and forth and great, ready to go. So now let's do it with the other three, the open hand, etc. So insert new symbol. I'll call this new symbol open. It's a movie clip, great. Do the same deal, import to stage. But now I'm going to find my, go back to my desktop and find my open folder. I'll get open 001, 00 rather, and hit open. It says, yes, it's a sequence. Great. Put it all in there as a sequence. And now here it is. There's my open symbol. All nice and ready to go. Insert new symbol. This will be the thumb movie. Blank stage again. Import to stage. Desktop, thumb, thumb zero, open, yes, great, looking good. One more to go, insert new symbol, and this is going to be my finger movie. Okay, import to stage, look for my finger movie, which is going to be on my desktop there, finger. Finger zero, great. Open yes. And there they are. There's my finger movie. So now I can go to my scene one. So the all four symbols will now be, here's the navigators right here. All four symbols, the finger, thumb, open and close that we just made are now going to be in this menu. It automatically puts them in that menu. I only have one scene and I can make more scenes if I like, but we're not going to do that. And now I'm going to go to the scene, and here we are in the main scene, and there's nothing there yet, right? This is just a you know one keyframe, nothing on the scene, scene rather. And here, if you look in your library, maybe you might be on properties, go to the library, you'll see that you've got the closed movie right here. And then you've got all the closed stills that came in as well. So we are now going to bring those onto the stage and then key it up, action script it up. So that you will pick one movie or the other and that's what's going to make our interactivity so that'll be the next part